All right, so here we have a work problem. We're going to uh, we're going to see how much work is done in pulling a rope to the top of a building. All right. So first, let's just draw a little a little picture. So here's my building. Okay? And I've got a rope hanging off the edge of it. Okay? And I need to pull it to the top. Well, Let's, let's put some dimensions in here real quick. So I know that the length of the rope is 50 feet, okay, and I need to pull it to the top of the building. Well, don't look at the entire rope, okay? When you look at it, just look at a little section of the rope, okay? And this, this length here, this little length of the rope, we'll call that delta x. Okay. All right. So what we do know is that work is equal to force times distance. Okay. Force times distance. So, well, we'll figure out the force in just a second. What's the distance? What's the distance that we're going to pull this rope up? Well, the distance is some number x, okay? Some number x. <clears throat> All right, so that's, that's the distance. Now let's look at the force. Well, how much does this little piece weigh? Now, if it's 50 foot long and the entire rope weighs 25 pounds, then that means it's half a pound per foot. Okay, if we take a half a pound per foot times 50 feet, that gives us 25 pounds. Okay, see if we have if we have a half um, uh, we have a half a pound per foot times 50 feet. See, that gives us 25 pounds. All right. So, F, in this case, is one half, okay, times what? Times the length of, the, of it, delta X, okay? See, if it were... If this were a two foot piece, it would be two times one half. Okay? If it was a four foot piece, it would be one half times four. Well, this is a delta x, that's the length of it. So it's a delta x times a half. Okay? And we also know that d is equal to x, that's the distance that we're pulling it up. Alright? So now we've got the force, we've got the distance. Okay? So now let's just set up our integral. So the work is going to be force times distance. But what we're going to do is we're going to see we've got this piece that we're pulling up x and then look you've got another piece here that you got to pull up this piece that you're going to pull up this piece that you're going to pull up this piece okay. So what we're doing is we're finding the the work required just to pull this piece up and then we've got to do the work required to pull this piece up and so on and all the way up the rope and down the rope all these little pieces so what we're going to do is we're going to sum all the all of that up okay and how do we do that well we do it with the integral okay so what's the What's the smallest? See, we got a piece right here at the top. Okay, a piece right here on the top. So, what's the distance that we pull it up? Well, that's that's zero feet. Okay, and then this last piece down here. Okay, what's the distance that we're pulling it up? Well, that's fifty feet. Uh, fifty feet. Okay, so we're summing all the pieces up from 0 feet to 50 feet. Okay, does that make sense? And then that's going to be 1 half 
x dx. Remember, delta x is equal to dx. Okay, so you can see here I've got my force times my distance. Okay, and I'm and remember this force times distance. That's the work done for that one piece, however far down it is, and I'm summing all of those pieces up from zero to fifty. Okay, all right. So let's see what we get here. That's let me go ahead and let me go ahead and pull the one half out. Uh, it's going to be zero to fifty x dx. Okay. So when we integrate this thing, I get one half, and then that's going to be one half x squared from zero to fifty. And so that's one fourth x squared zero to fifty. All right. And so I'm going to get one fourth times, and then I plug the fifty and zero in. Fifty squared minus zero squared. Punch that in my calculator. I get six hundred and twenty-five foot pounds. Okay. Now you know these work. The work problems. They're not difficult. All it is force times distance. That's all you're looking for. Okay. And that's what we found. We got we got the force times the distance. Okay, and it was just for this little piece. And then you have to sum all those pieces up from zero to fifty. All right. So I hope this helped. Give me a like, subscribe, share, and Thanks for watching.